Oliver Queen's life is ruined in Green Arrow issue 2. So this issue takes place after the apparent death of Green Arrow and the death of Oliver when Amiko betrayed him for her mother and for her new masters, the Burned, who uh, operate this massive ship which I think they call the Inferno. Yeah, they're part of like this group called the Ninth Circle and everything, all these re really weird names and everything. Uh, but they think they've killed Oliver, but they haven't. He's actually found by uh, Henry, who uses Amiko's tracker to find him. So maybe Amiko put it on him, because she was, uh, by the looks of it, putting uh, like drugs and alcohol and everything all over him to make it look like a bit of a suicide attempt. And uh, that kind of worked, because the world as a whole kind of thinks that he's committed suicide or like a murder suicide and queen Industries cfo uh cyrus broderick is still who we found out is like sort of the bad guy of this story is obviously reaffirming those by like coming out to the public and like releasing all this information about how he died and everything and to top that all off they've even gone so far as to destroy all of Oliver's like apartments and everything like he tries to go home they've absolutely demolished the apartment to make way for something else in his own company's name uh, which I thought was really funny on top of all this we actually also get to see what Diggle has been up to and he's been protecting a guy in I think Abu Dhabi and he actually ends up being killed by the same people wanted Oliver dead so I guess that's how their stories are going to intertwine in this new series uh, and Black Canary is obviously looking into Oliver's supposed death she doesn't know he's alive yet and she's been going around trying to find out what's going on and everything she like tracks the boat that was used to dump Oliver's body and everything and finds a symbol and everything so that's really cool and yeah Oliver comes back as a green arrow at the end after going to his <laughs> his uh tree house uh bat cave sort of thing that he has hidden out in the forest uh, which I think is really cool and uh yeah I, I really like this issue I thought it was a really fun issue and I'm really intrigued to find out what's gonna go on for Green Arrow in this new series as I said, I haven't read any of the New 52 stuff. I only read him a little bit when he was in Justice League those couple of times. And yeah, I'm really excited for this. And it's a great jumping on point for people. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10.